from check scams to email scams. You've got mail. The Federal Trade Commission currently ranks South Carolina 32 in the nation for complaints involving ID theft. There's just so many scams going on now. And Deborah Jones knows that from firsthand experience. Just days after receiving her Social Security check in the mail back in April. Hello? The phone calls began from a man claiming to be with a company called ProPal. He was responsible for distributing these discount health cards where you get 20 to 60 percent off your medications. But there was one catch. And he said, I want to give you an ID number, but before I can do that, I need your checking account number. So immediately the red flag went up. If it sounds too good to be true, it is. Within just the past few months, Kathy Graham with the Better Business Bureau has seen complaints involving fraud and ID theft skyrocket. We get calls daily on especially the Nigerian letters and the lotteries. Those are the two biggest ones. The FTC found that victims lost an average of $500 to scammers last year, but while complaints are up, the scams have really not lessened or accelerated. Graham says more people are just falling for them. Because they're so desperate and they're so looking for that quick, easy, fast buck to get them out of the hole, to get them out of trouble. Many scams are targeting senior citizens. Why? Well, because they're generally more trusting, but not Jones. We need to stop them. But because that's nearly impossible to do, Jones sends right. out this simple warning. Don't give out any information.